Here we are again. Hey guys, George Alexander here, and today we are back with another Angel Reaction. Last episode was really good, actually my favourite episode of, of Angel so far. The twist was so cool, the demonic entity stuff was so cool. Like, the stuff with, like, a little bit of backstory with Wesley was so cool. I just enjoyed all aspects of it. So I just want to get into this next episode. But before we do, if you'd like to see even more Buffy and Angel content, you can head to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Alexander. Links in the description box below, where you can get early access to Buffy and Angel content and also get the full unedited reaction as well. Full Patreon picture, so you don't need your own version to watch along. But if you don't want to do that, it's absolutely fine. Just give me a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. And without further ado... Let's go. Ooh. Flashback. Oh no, this means the accent's coming back. <clears throat> Why do you keep to the shadows, sir? Are you not well? Not the light. Bothers my eyes just now. And I oh. know the reason why. <gasps> I've been all night, is it? Drinking. Oh. Uh, he's not a vampire yet. Everyone gets corrupted. But I find some forms of corruption are more pleasant. Oh, Damn. You'll never amount to anything more than that. <sighs> and he that. Ooh, come on. Is it the Metro they call it? And... The subway. Do they call it the subway in in LA? Or is it just in New York? Unclear, you have two dozen witnesses. I know, and they're all saying the same thing. What? That the suspect went out through the top vent while the train was still moving. He climbed out of the moving train. They're saying he was pulled out. Pulled out by, by what? what? Or by who? Get statements. Your bestie. <laughs> oh, damn. I guess I can forget about reading him his rights. Yes. You can't read a demon rights. <laughs> so they die then. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But how do you explain this? Sorry, I guess I'm still having a little trouble with this otherworldly stuff. Although demons aren't technically otherworldly. I mean, in fact, they were here before us. Average height, average weight, average build. This is the best you can do. <laughs> No, why did you pull the emergency brake? It was an emergency? Yeah. Oh, well, let's get this description circulated. Right. We want to find this guy, right? Yeah. What's your father down here? Uh, not much. Oh, damn. Even she doesn't know. <laughs> You've been sitting in your apartment listening to that police scanner again, haven't you? Yeah. Not the night cable, anyway. Is she speaking to him now, then, after everything? I think he's actually checking up on me. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, is that the case? Oh, well, that's Sounds good. Surprised. Mm -hmm. Not like him. No, you don't get to do that. What? Mm -hmm. Kill a demon in front of me and then act like we're gonna have a cappuccino together. It doesn't work that way. How does it work? <laughs> I'm not convinced it does. Kate. It's magnificent. Is that Darla? Oh, yeah, God's gift, all right. God, these accents. Because Darla created him, right? Pay attention. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Would that be the demon you encountered this morning? Yeah, that's him. Well, it's curious. According to everything I could find, a Quaini is a peaceful, balancing demon. Non-violent. Ooh. Maybe it was just having a bad, skinky rag day. <sighs> Maybe. Something set it off, that's for sure. Clearly. I feel like we haven't seen Wolfman and Hart. Like in a while. It's about that demon from this morning. Look, if you insist, then... <laughs> At least close the door. Stuff, could you please not say that word? It makes me. It makes me. I don't know. Just uncomfortable. The person. The... Hey, anyway, how'd you get in here? It's like the middle of the day, don't you have to? Sewer systems and leads up to the parking garage. All right, of course. <laughs> I remember. Listen, Kate. I need the names of the uh, passengers on that train. Just start with that delivery guy, uh, the man who pulled the emergency brake. He just said that the it thing was coming at. Right? Yeah, because that guy. Maybe there's a reason that he was so, like, oh, blasé about it. Maybe he works for Wolfman Hart? Interesting. <gasps> Kate. 
Pete's father. This isn't ideal, is it? Jesus Christ. Mr. Lockley. Yeah. I'm Angel. We met at your retirement party. In front of your daughters. Katie did something. Yeah. Damn, he's, he's worried about her. You know, she actually thought that you were at the crime scene today because you were worried about her. What do you want? I don't know what was in that package when you gave that delivery guy. I don't know what you're talking about. You removed something from the crime scene today. Something somebody didn't want the police to find. Hmm. Are you threatening me, son? Absolutely. No. I'm trying to protect your daughter. Protect my mm. daughter? From what? From finding out the reason that you were there today wasn't because you cared about her. Damn. He's like, listen. Who'll take you in? Who? No one! I'll not lack for a place to sleep. I can tell you that. Out of my way. If you go causing <sighs> trouble, you're sure to find it! God, well, he definitely did that. Oh my God, this is the night that he got turned. I think it's really cool that we get to see Darla like this, like, because we haven't... Because I really liked her in series one. I was ashamed when she died, so it's nice that we get to get her in these flashbacks. How's Angel? Pardon me? Tall, good-looking fellow you brought to my retirement party. Yeah, I know who you mean. <laughs> you married? No. <laughs> He's a demon! West Hollywood? Daddy, no. West Hollywood, is he gay? <laughs> Private investigator. Mm -hmm. You giving your dad all this information? Any good? Yeah, he's good. At least, good girl. You know. You... Now he's worried that he could he came find all out. Came all the way down here to talk about a guy you saw me out with once. You like him? No, not really. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> then what's this all about? Like, come on, you're a police officer. Work out that he's obviously being awkward and. Well. The Ooh. vivisection confirms it. This is most certainly a quaini. So the species has evolved, has become violent. No, I don't think so. My tests detected something else. I could even go in his little science outfit. I believe the inflammation was caused by this substance. I found traces of it throughout the quaini system. Mm. Saying that the thing was on drugs. Yes. And that's why it attacked the subway train. Delivery guy was probably carrying. Right. What would happen if this drug were given to an already powerful battle demon? I shudder to think. Is that maybe what they're testing out? What's the point of having it if you never turn it on? Oh my god, come on, Gaga. What'd you find out? First off, I hate following detail. The voyeuristic aspect is rather unseemly. <clears throat> uh, can I mention traffic and parking or the complete lack of it? Was she following? Oh, him. Turns out, delivery guy really is a delivery guy. No, this looks like the package I saw him pick up from Kate's father. But this is where he spent his lunch, and he was in there for, like, ever. Exotic autos. His name is Angel. He's a private investigator. From what I hear, he's good. Hmm. Any idea on why he'd be looking into our operation? Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's got his reasons, I guess. Here we go. Whatever it is you're moving in your little brown packages, dial it down for a while. Yep. Yeah. Instructions on how we should deal with this Angel person, sir. Kill him. Sure, that would be wise, sir. Lockley appears to be growing uncomfortable with our arrangement as it is. The sudden death of this private investigator could turn him. Kill Lockley too. Oh. Someone get me an adreno gland. Get him an adreno gland. Okay, so maybe he's. Oh, we're back in time. We're getting whiplash with these. Like, does he Doctor Who? Back and forth. Back and forth. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's pretending. Oh, of course, because he would have died, and then he comes back. Like this, yes, I forgot, okay. Wake up. Girl, you created a monster. Like, it's crazy, isn't it? Because, like, basically, Darla started everything. Like, this re it's Darla's fault that this calendar is dead. It hurts, I know, but not for long. <sighs> Birth is always painful. Grave robbers! You know what to do. Which, why would you run? Or throw the bloody lantern at him? I also want to find out how they got parted, like Darla and him. Right. So now we should be protected by a state-of-the-art home and workplace security designed to attractively complement any room, home or office TM. Uh, TM. 
Hi. Give me that. <clears throat> that didn't work very well. The list of those names you asked for. Passengers on the train? Right. Thank you. This is what we want. We want Kate and him coming together. Something my father said, actually. Your father? Yeah, he asked if you were good at what you do. I said you were. Poor Kate stuck in the middle of this. I hope he knows what he's doing. Have a little faith, Wesley. Door is open. Oh my god. Oh god, they're all attacking. I suppose they wanted to send them to kill Angel. He really left at the wrong time, didn't he? Oh yes, come on, Wesley. Come on, you two. Can battle the shit out of them. Oh, God. oh my god. Hey! Oh, thank god. Bet you like some of this. Ah. Mr. Lockley. Oh, it's too late. No, come in. What do you want? Oh, are they going to kill the dad? Be gone, unclean thing. A demon cannot enter a home where it's not welcome. He must be invited. That's true. But I was invited. By the daughter. Oh. oh damn, he killed his sister. She thought I returned to her. An angel. Is that where you got the name from? You said I'd never amount to anything. Jesus, the things he's gonna do. Well, you were wrong. You see, Father, I have made something of myself. Damn, so he killed all his family. Well, I think he killed the whole village. I'll be sure and thank you when I pick up my Father of the Year award. Anything else? Who is it? Angel or Kate? Mr. Lockley, I need you to invite me in. What? Get out of here. <gasps> invite me in. Do it now. Son, you really. Oh my god. Go. Invite me in. Invite <gasps> no. No. Looks like you're not welcome here, bro. He dies. The very instant his soul leaves his body, I'm through this door and I'll kill you both. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. I don't think this is going to do anything for their relationship. I wanted to save him. He, he wouldn't let me. Oh. If he was involved in something, Kate, in something he couldn't have understood. Get out! Get out! Kate. Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh, God. Hey. Oh. He is going to go crazy. Damn. Folly. Ooh. This was this has been a really good episode. Sad. She's gonna see that he was in involved in something. Oh god, she's gonna go, isn't she? Hopefully Angel's going as well. Okay. <gasps> My father may not have known what you are, but I do. So why haven't so why haven't so you need bloody a stake? But this will <gasps> Woo! Bitch! She said, I know what you are. Vampire. Behind you, Kate, behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. You have no comprehension. You don't understand what stands before you. Yeah, big <sighs> ugly drug running demon who thinks he's a lot scarier than he really is. Thank God. She knows. <laughs> yes. Oh, Kate, be careful, girl. <sighs> oh, my God. <clears throat> yes. 
<laughs> Ooh. Welcome to the club. Damn, that was cool. Oh, poor Kate. I mean, Jesus Christ. Losing a father and then having to do that. Kate, uh, I know that what happened with your father. My father was human. And you don't know anything about that. <sighs> I proved who had the power here. You think? What? Your victory over him took but moments. Yeah. He can't defeat me now. Nor can he ever approve of you. In this world, or any other. Ooh. Darling boy. So young. Still so very young. Jeez. I would honestly be up for like a series of Angel that's just set back in like those days, like in his early days of him being Angelos. I suppose it would negate the fact that we want to like have him on our side. Beloved father. Right, beloved, lights, beloved. Wow, that was a really good episode, guys. Okay, guys, so that was episode 15 of Angel. Great episode. I love emotional. Um, and I loved the back and forth between like Angel's past and how that was kind of negating what was happening right now in the future with Kate and like her father and all that. Um, I think it was really cool. I love any sort of like or oh, I'm always up for backstory and lore when it comes to the characters that we know and love. To kind of just get that more and it was so great to see Dala again in a bit more of action and also see Angelos's well one him become technically Angelos because the when he said like you know his sister thought he was he was an angel I was like oh. so yeah great episode I'm intrigued to see if by the end of series one if Kate and Angel can find well more so Kate with Angel um if she can kind of come to terms with everything and, and be on our side. I think she is deep down, obviously. She just, what she went through was extremely traumatic. So I'm not surprised that she was kind of on her guard and emotional. So, because anyone would be. But yeah, I'm excited to see where the last, whatever it is, seven, six episodes of this show go. So yeah. Okay, guys, thank you much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. All my social media will be in the description box below. And yeah, until next time. See ya.